Hey, yo, it's your boy, okay, bet. Today we're gonna be doing level 65 portals, solo and ebb and scale. I had a request on a previous video of how to do it in season five. So here you go. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, get notified, all that stuff, so we can keep doing this. Appreciate y'all. Now to go over the gear. Very simple stuff. I just have the blood drinker, which has slash damage on it. Uh, that's what I added. This allows you, I know it's 25% less damage technically, but you get 25% life stealing and all healing from life steal is increased by 5%. So I'm using the Tangle Vine Greatsword. I didn't even upgrade it to 700 yet. Uh, it has Keen, Trenchant Recovery, Life Stealing. So all your heavy attacks heal you for 24% of your damage done. And then the Life Stealing kicks in, which should be about 7% or 7.1 when it's 700 gear score, which is also amplified by Blood Drinker. And then I'm running Glacial Tarn pieces, the Frigid Dawn set. I'm running three of them. And I'm also running the Nature's Wrath, which will give me 20% more damage, base damage, right? So... This is essentially nullifying the 25% uh, damage you lose from running Blood Drinker. So you're leeching and life stealing from roughly 95% of your damage, which is insane. So that's what I'm currently running. I have Health Divine Alchemist Reprieve on the amulet, just in case I do need to take a health potion. It can, you know, it can go a long way. And then. I have fortifying toast, regenerating, great. And the other thing is the uh, mending stone form. So when you stone form, you heal yourself and you also become immune to CCs, which is insane when it comes to corrupted and they're pulling you and staggering you around and, you know, doing all that fun stuff. Then just to add on to the divine, I'm also running 50 focus, which all incoming healing is increased by 10% as well. So that's huge and i'm running a split stat it's not even anything like cool it's just basically 200 250 focus 150 con uh in medium and that's how you can just easily solo portals so get your nature's wrath uh, i have venom back bar just to get the extra damage from heavy attacks but it doesn't really matter what you use uh back bar as long as you have the trench of recovery life stealing ideally you'd probably want leeching cross cut instead of keen but I'm not going to upgrade it with the seals and do all that stuff. Just, yeah, I mean, it works already, right? Uh, and then you need to farm the blood drinker. So blood drinker, nature's wrath are like the most important pieces of the build other than the weapon itself, which is trenchant recovery and life stealing on the greatsword. Now, when you're running the greatsword, you have to remember that the right side passive for roaring rupture is huge because you become CC immune, right? So you're uninterruptible for five seconds. So you, it's so insanely good when PVEing, so you're not getting knocked around. Cause you only have 150 cons. So you don't have grit, you don't have any of that. Sure, you can make a grit version, but I just like to do more damage and get it over and done with. If we'll go up here and do this one as well. Um, I'm not a huge fan of trying to do the majors by myself cause it takes so long. But you know, if you get another friend who's Doing the same build you could easily solo those as well so we'll start out with a cross cut we'll use rupture so we don't get staggered because we know this guy likes to stagger people and then you just keep heavy attacking just non-stop heavy attacking over and over and over and over again i know it's boring but it goes by pretty quick especially when you're doing you know massive amounts of damage i have the arcane gem in here not needed um You'd probably be better off running like an opal or something of that nature. I'm just running this because it's the way I had it from my like original build back in the day. I haven't changed any of it. But as you can see, these corrupted keep spawning. The more around, the more you can leech. Great. Because you're hitting more of them with the cleave of it. Very easily done, guys. Again put your corrupted trophies up make it easy on yourself you don't have to go crazy you can just do the basic corrupted trophies uh, i'm also running uh corruption ward potion just to mitigate 10 percent of their damage makes it easier for you you can run in a coating if you want last 40 minutes uh gives you i believe 15 percent more damage and then you can have these powerful corruption tinctures on your bar 
which will then take away the corruption resistance uh, damage down here, which takes away 15% of your base health. Uh, if you pop those, you no longer receive the corrupted damage. So it's just nice to even have the, the lowest tier possible on your bar just to make sure you're not losing that much health because it can burst you pretty quick when you're fighting the bigger mobs. And guys, that's how to solo level 65 portals in Ebonscale Season 5 of New World. Appreciate y'all.